It has been really, really fun, but it's finally time. Solstice is coming to an end, and what other way to do that than with a banger? So today, I've got some codes for you guys, some really cool codes, and um, basically there has not been a code in the game for like, what is it, maybe two months? I have no I have no clue, maybe three months, That has that, that's really a long time, because we did have some events and some updates, but no actual codes. So this is very special, we actually have some codes for today, and as well, I will be uh, going over everything that was added in the Solstice event just to have a just to give a quick reminder what it what is actually new. And um, my English is already starting to break, so um, this is this is not a good start. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this this is just amazing. Just uh, me as a content creator not being able to speak English for some reason. I have no idea why, but my brain just works this way. And um, yeah, guess that's a thing. But anyways, let's just start with the first thing that has been added and um, also the first thing that has been added and that is the Hexalios, which is a really really cool dragon and I love this actual thing and uh, yeah, it, it just looks really cool and a lot of people were upset about this dragon about how it looks and I, I just I just love this dragon. It looks so so cool. I love this uh, thing overall. It just it just looks amazing. Uh, the way you could actually get this is by going to the world that is called Solstice. So this is the actual event world, which um, was made during this event. Well, it was made before the event, of course, but this event was made for the event. Wait, this world was made for the event. Uh, nice English. This is going amazing so far. So um, basically, this world was made for the event, and then what you could do is you could play mini games. So this mini game is called F Find the Relics. Relics, relics. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's fine though. Uh, you could get a dragon and just find these little relics. Uh, and I will spin the wheel in a moment. But for now, I'm just gonna see if I can actually find a relic. And uh, my game is not loading in. My PC can barely handle it. Uh, so um, this is a relic, and you could collect it. And if you had enough of these, you could get you could get like sun oranges. And I will wait until the game stops with playing. In the meantime, I will be trying to find more. Um, but you could get, uh, you play, oh, seriously, you gotta steal it in front of me? Seriously, I was there already, stop stealing from me, <laughs> that's so fun. I don't, I don't know if I can find another one now, I've got seven seconds, seven seconds, oh no, five, four, three, two, one, <gasps> there's one, oh, okay. We did get two sun, or sun oranges, nice, my English is really not on point today, but um, yeah. You got uh, sun oranges, and uh, what you could do with the sun oranges is you could go here. And as you guys can see, there is a counter, and uh, once once this uh, number reaches this number, there will be hexalios, uh, and it will count down on here. So you will have 50 hexalios, and the way you can actually donate is by pressing this little button right here. But I'm not gonna do that because I actually wanna customize my base, and uh, a lot of people have hexalios already. So um, that's the thing. So that's the way you can actually get the hexalios, and that's just. Spin the wheel real quickly before we get into the codes, and let me just uh, do something. Oh, that's why. Okay, now it should be loading in. Everything is loaded in now. I was really confused why it didn't load in. But uh, let's just go to the spin wheel real quickly, because we have the spin wheel, and let's, after the spin wheel, we can go to the first code. Because you guys must actually use these codes. These codes are really a must-have. You really should use these codes. So, um, 50 watermelon seeds, so that's a... Um, that's a good luck charm, I guess, because uh, Melons is the team of this chan channel, yes, yes. But make sure to use this code. So the first code is, if you go to codes right here, is the Solar Solstice code. So um, just type it like this, uh, capital S's, of course. Make sure to use that and then submit, and you'll get 5,000 coins. So uh, make sure to use that, a nice starting boost. Uh, for beginning players, which is uh, always nice, just a little bit of coins, and um, you can really enjoy that. But let's just go to the next thing that was added to the actual Solstice event, and that is this dragon, the Toothless Dragon, which is uh, a really, really cool dragon. It's uh, a lot of people get triggered by that. <laughs> yes, amazing. But this dragon, uh, it's um, it's it's a really old dragon that has been uh, in the making for a long time. But Rifia recently added it with the Solstice world, so um. They knew it was going to be added to the Solstice world, and you, the way you could actually get this is by going to the Volcano world. And uh, once you have joined this world, you could go fly around and look for relics. So what I recommend is just follow my path, just uh, go over here, 
And if you reach this little area with the meteor right here and with this big red circle, you could turn around and you could go in this actual cave. And you had a big chance of actually a uh, meteor spawning here and I'm stuck in the wall. That's not very nice. Uh, why does this always happen to me? Uh, but the uh, meteors could spawn here and of course you could collect them and you needed six of these. And once you got six you could go through this door. And uh, of course what you wanted to do is just go here and there was a egg right here. And it's still there. You just want to press E on that and then you could fly up of course. And once you had flied up, well once you flew up, uh, you have this door and you can just unlock it. Then you had to use the correct color combination at the correct timing. So uh, that was really easy and then we could go through this door. And then the last actual relic uh, was actually, oh well this is not okay. Uh, you had to get a new mean with a lava element which uh, was in the making for a long time as well. And why am I also always stuck in the ground? Uh, but uh, lava new mean with level 20 and then you could donate that or sacrifice that to open this door and once you had done that you could go here and collect the egg after you had defeated the boss which was really easy to take on and that's how you unlock the actual magma dragon or the toothless or whatever you want to call it i call it the toothless okay remember when i said the new new mean with love element well this is a new mean which came out in the actual event as well well it didn't came out it has a remodel and this is the first actual dragon with a remodel you can just get this, this out of the lava world which is a uh, really easy to actually get and uh, once you have gotten this it's basically just a normal dragon they were gonna do special stuff with it but apparently just not so uh this is just a cool dragon that is added and you could just get this out of eggs and that is just a uh, really easy and uh, a really easy way to get a really cool looking dragon the next dragon is the solarison or i don't know how to say that name but uh it's the newest dragon and it's gonna be a really rare dragon but i did not unlock it unfortunately so i can't show you guys and i'm sorry that i can't show you guys i did everything i could to be able to unlock it but um yeah i did not unlock it bad luck doesn't matter just uh, I'll, maybe i'll trade for one i am not entirely sure i really really want one it's one of my favorite dragons in the game uh, but uh, I did. I don't have one, so I can't actually show this. And you could get this out of the solar egg, and there were only 7,500 of these actual dragons. So that's a really small amount. And I uh, wish I had one, but unfortunately, I don't. And I'm not even sure if I can get my hands on one. So that's pretty sad, in my opinion. But anyways, uh, let's just go to the next item, and after that, we can go to the next code. And um, that was the new potion. So there is uh, in total four new potions. I only have three of them, and three of them are. The uh, Lunaris, the uh, Sunbeam, the Solar, wait, and the Cosmic. So I do actually have all of them. So uh, I do have all of them. Just, uh, it's it's pretty nice. Just these potions are basically color potions and uh, uh, element potions, which is really nice. And the way you could actually get this, and that's why I'm standing here, is by fishing. Just get your fishing rod out, and um, you will be able to fish. And uh, just fish in the water, your camera out in the water, just keep fishing and wait until you had a potion and then you could actually reel it in and get the potion. It's not really that hard, but um, still it's it's doable, it's fun. And of course, uh, let's just go to the code as promised. Uh, when you go to the code menu again, the next code is Sunny Day with capital letter S and capital letter D of course. So um, just use this code and you will get a lava preset potion, which is a older potion I believe, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's a older potion, yeah this is the older potion. So a free lava preset potion, who doesn't want that? It's a uh, really nice and uh, yeah, it's, it's just nice to have, it's not really anything special. But make sure you use these codes because always free items are always nice. And the Sunbeam Potion or the uh, Lava Preset Potion, I mean, is actually 100,000 coins. So uh, that's 100,000 coins for free for you guys, which Rufia just basically gave to you guys. So um, yeah. But anyways, tomorrow I will be filming my entire PC setup video. And I will, of course, upload that to my channel later. Um, I hope maybe in two days, three days. So it might be that I'm not uploading then, as I said before in this video. Um, but that's fine. I hope that's fine by you guys. Uh, so it might be that I don't upload. Who knows? I really hope I can upload because uh, my PC can't handle it at the moment anymore. So that's kind of sad and uh, I'm still very fat. I like being fat. Being fat is very nice. But let's just go to the last thing that actually got added and that is the actual de decorations. Uh, that got added with part 2 of the actual Solstice event. So basically the Sun Arch, the Solar Waypoint, Solar Crystal, Solar Column, Solar Arch. And of course if you go to Craft and go to Plants, 
We've got some as well. We've got the, let me see what they're called, the Tall Solar Palm and we got the Solar Shoot. So those two, had, oh wait, the Short Solar Palm has also been added. Solar Grass, of course, as well. So um, kind of skipped over a po couple, um, but it's fine. I told them anyways, you guys have your information. But that's anyways, th those are the codes that got added to the actual Solstice event. And of course, every single thing that is new in the Solstice event. So make sure you guys just do these things before the Solstice event runs out. Because it's gonna stop, I think, next week. Maybe in five days, who knows, next week, Monday maybe. I am not entirely sure. But it's gonna end. So make sure you do all these things. But anyways, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, everyone.